Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a photo booth template for dark room using Canva. It's gonna be real simple, real easy. So if you don't have Canva, uh, the pro version, it's okay, because you're gonna do it without using the pro version. So first you wanna open up Canva. All right, we're gonna hit Canva. All right, so now that we in the Canva program, um, I have the pro version, but again, we're not going to use the pro version for this. So you're going to go to Canva and you're going to go to, uh, you can go to any one of these because we're going to resize it. So let's just do um, Facebook landscape posts. Quick, let me, I already have a template already pulled up. Okay. So we're going to do a Facebook, so we're going to go to Facebook land, landscape posts for now. So you will okay so you will have to resize it so you we're gonna have to resize it so we're gonna go and put our two by six and then we're gonna change this to inches two by six and then yep yeah, and then hit continue you gotta hit it here and then hit continue. You're gonna call copy and resize, open a two by six. So you're gonna open a two by six. Um, so you will have to resize it. Um, I think that feature is available for everybody, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna make a Valentine's Day themed um, post. So we're gonna go to where it says templates up here, we're gonna go to Valentine's. And now we have already have our Valentine's Day templates. They already have some already made for us, which is perfect. Okay, so we're gonna pick this one right here. This one looks cool. I'm gonna go with this one. Now you can leave it just like this and then go ahead and export it uh, or download it to your computer so you can put it into Lightroom, I mean, not Lightroom, Darkroom. Um, if you don't like this template, they have more, um, but we're going to add, I normally don't add my, um, like title, wait, what people want the photo booth thing to say. I normally don't add it right here, but if you wanted to add it, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go back to elements and we're going to just get a pick a square. You can type in square up here. If, you, if it doesn't pops up automatically, you can type in square. Boom. We're going to pack, get our square. Uh-oh. Delete. So this is our square. Now I always try to take it all the way at the bottom because I don't, because sometimes there are boxes, once you put them into Lightroom, there aren't where they're supposed to, they, they move your, your bottom box that you're making might be too high and might cover the photo booth, the photo boxes. So you want to keep it all the way at the bottom like that. Then we're going to add text. I'm just going to go here, add a cute little, let's do this Valentine's sale. I'm just going to say, we're going to change the um, wording on this. I'm going to get rid of that. I just wants to say sale. I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to change the color to, of course, white. And then we're going to go and delete this text down here because we don't need that. Now we're going to change this to uh, Valentine's. Gonna put day. We're gonna put dance. Um, then you can add a date at the bottom here. You can make this smaller. You can make it smaller. Go back, put day right there, and then we can go here and put the date to um, fourteen twenty four. You can put whatever say you want to put here. I'm just going to do this for now because, yeah. Right? So we have that. So, so you want to go and you want to go to here to share. You're going to hit download. Make sure you download as a JPEG. Then you're going to hit download. So once you have it downloaded, you're going to go open it up. Make sure it looks good. All right. looks good. All right. So then you want to go to Lightroom, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so now we have we're inside the dark room program and you created your event. We're going to go right here to choose. Okay. So 
you can um, do this multiple different ways. So you can just find a template that you already use. You're going to do like this. You're going to hit edit. You can right click and hit edit or you can do it a different kind of way. And then you're going to take the, if this has writing here, you're going to delete the writing. Yes, we are sure we want to remove that. You're going to delete the background. Yes, we're sure. So now you're going to go down here to add artwork. You're going to go here. You're going to go browse. And then you're going to go to where you save the template from Canva. So you're going to do that. You're going to click on it. You're going to hit open. And you're going to hit OK. So now your template is in the Darkroom program. And it's, but there's nothing there. All the picture photos and all that is not showing. So you want to go click somewhere inside of where the template is and you're going to right click on your mouse and then you're going to go to order and you're going to go to send to back. Now it positioned everything, the uh, photo boxes back to where they were. And if something is offline, you can like, it's not centered or whatever. You can just move it and adjust it or you can bring the boxes down or something like that. Okay. So once you do that, I always hit save as because save as in case you don't, if, in case you want to keep that previous template and you don't want to overwrite it, hit save as so that it create like a duplicate of it. So you're going to go save as, and then you're going to uh, name it at whatever you want to name it. Um, I already did this part, so I don't, I'm not going to name it right now. So once you do that, you're going to hit save as, and then it's going to be boom. Now say you don't care about the template and you just want to save it. The previous one you don't care about it, you want to save it, just hit save. You'll be back to where all the templates are. And then you're going to go search for that template and it should pop up. Now, if you hit it to save as way, you're going to have to add it. So you're going to have to go up here to add and then the box is going to pop up and then you're going to go to browse and then uh, find where you, um, where you uh, save the template at. And then you're going to hit um, open or OK or whatever the option is once you found it. And then it'll pop up in here. So once your template is back in, into the template area, you're going to find it, select it, and then hit choose. And once you hit choose, it'll pop up where it's supposed to be. And that is how you make, edit, and import a photo booth template from Canva into Darkroom. I hope this tutorial has been wonderful for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were, it was helpful. If you have any more questions or anything, put them in the comment section below and I'll try to get to them uh, as fast as I can. All right guys, see you in the next one. Peace.